Hi, today in this video I will talk about the Tennessee Williams memory play The Glass Menagerie and its relation with symbolism. First, I will talk about the summary of The Glass Menagerie alone. The Tennessee Williams memory play The Glass Manager premiered in 1944. The play is presented to an audience as a reminiscence play made by the narrator Tom in the memory of his mother Amanda and sister Laura. The game is set in 1930s in America. Amanda, who was abandoned by her husband many years ago, lives in the dilapidated apartment in Louis with her two children. After abandoning his family, Mr. Wingfield sends a postcard. The only message on this postcard is, hello, goodbye. The Tom is consoled by spending his free time watching movies and literature. Amanda wants to give her children the same opportunities she enjoyed as a child. Laura, who was unable to complete her education, has a sensitive nature and isolates herself from the rest of the world due to a leg injury sustained as a result of a disorder she contracted as a child, has dedicated herself to the hard glass collection. Laura, who has always been platonic love with Jim, shows her collection to her for dinner. While they dance, Laura does not get angry even though Jim accidentally breaks the unicorn. The night when they dance and kiss ends with Jim leaving the house after telling the others that he should meet with his fiancée. Laura is overwhelmed by the situation. His mother holds Tom responsible for all of this. The play ends with Tom explaining that he left the house shortly after the incident and his tirade addressing Laura. As for the next, I will talk about symbolism alone. Symbolism was born out of a reaction to Parnassism in the second half of the 19th century. Human feelings and impressions were unimportant to Parnassians. The truths, the thoughts were all that mattered to them. Symbolists react to this understanding by focusing on the sensuality and the man's inner world. They believe that material and titles are symbols that serve to connect external world to human senses. Because the external reality can only proceed by humans. In other words, it's evaluated how person perceives it. Symbolists have used symbols to explain the impacts and impressions of the external environment on humans. Here we have the symbolism and the glass managery relation in general. The glass managery is one of William's most famous plays as well as one of the most intense in terms of symbolism moments. And symbols appear in particularly every sentence. The effects of the symbolism moment and variety of things we can see in the game are so many that it's still difficult to fully analyze even today. But it would be better uh, we study these symbolic characters, characteristic uh, features which are under the influence of the symbolism moment by grouping and separating them into two main groups. The first group is symbols as objects, and the first object I will talk about is Laura's glass menagerie. The glass menagerie, the title of the play, and the most significant emblem, because of its being a versatile symbol, allows us to examine it from multiple perspectives. Just like other versatile, Laura's glass animal figure collection reflects the various aspects of her personality when looked symbolically. Laura has a delicate, sensitive, and at the same time a nostalgic personality just like the figures she made. With a different point of the view, the glass is transparent and can separate the lights into rainbows when the ray of the light comes on it correctly. Similarly, although Laura is too quiet around the people she does not feel comfortable with, it can be stated that she has a 
uniquely beautiful personality when viewed with the right light from the right perspective. Also, this collection of Laura represents her, her delicate and fragile inner world that is too beautiful to survive in the harsh reality and also symbolizes that even the slightest mistake can make this magnificent world shattered. Then we will talk about the glass unicorn as a symbols. Okay. The importance of the unicorn figure is so great that it's enough to describe almost all of the Laura's emotions and the bitter state she is in. Before the figure breaks, unicorn figure is unique due to its distinction from other horses. But on the other hand, unicorns have become extinct in the modern world. Symbolizes that Laura's existence in this world is fading away. When the horse was dismembered, it lost something from itself and become different. That is, it became like other horses, but there were still traces of being broken on it. Likewise, having Jim and Laura together meant that Laura's uniqueness would be shattered also. Jim's advances give Laura a new normality and make her look like another girl. But the violence on which this normality is based on her meant that Laura cannot be normal without somehow being shattered. This broken unicorn figure also represents the impossibility of being with Jim as well as the impossibility of Laura with never be kind of woman she wanted. Here too we can easily see the symbolism as the objects and inner roles and emotionally states of the characters mentioned. The next object in terms of symbolism I will talk about is blue roses. Yes, blue roses. Blue roses is a nickname Jim used when talking to Laura in their high school times. This nickname represents the Laura's beauty and glamour of her. In addition, Laura represents William's sister who was lobotomy at the time of writing process of the play and the nickname is also likely in tribute to her. The next symbol I will talk about is fire escape and cigarettes of Tom. Outside of their apartment there is a landing fire escape. Tom's smoking represents an effort to balance his own troubles with the fire of the cigarettes. Also, Tom's frequent escape to the fire escape to smoke is a metaphorical fire at home, such as pessimism, uselessness, and disappointments. His frequent escape to the fire escape foreshadows his eventual departure from the apartment. Further, Laura slips on the fire escape in scene 4, highlighting her inability to escape from her, her situation. Lastly, the mention of Tom inner world by going this fire, uh, fire escape is another example of symbolism. And then I will talk about the chapter 2 characters. In general, the glass manager's symbolism is a culmination of the framework that Williams began developing early in his career. The Tom character, Amanda, Laura and Jim are defined in the glass manager using lots of patterns of symbolism. Each character in Tennessee Williams' play has unique symbol that represents their own personalities. As for the next, we have Laura. To describe Laura and the world she lives in, Tennessee Williams used many symbolic elements. Laura is a very delicate, shy and emotionally crippled girl in the play. 
She lives in a world of glass animal in her mind and has no connection to the real world. The glass unicorn is a distinctly a sign of Laura, delicate, sadly special and scarcity in her world. During Laura's and Jim's brief romantic encounter, it seems as if she is starting to escape from her world of illusions. When they started dancing together, Jim accidentally knocked the little glass horse. Laura, who always loved her glass collection about anything else, responded to his excuse by saying, He's lost his horn, but it doesn't matter, maybe it's a blessing in disguise and now he will feel more at home with other horses the ones who don't have horns these two quotes gives an impression that laura is finally starting to escape from her illusion world she thinks that she might have a chance to survive the real world likewise it's possible to see the traces of symbolism as a reflection of the inner world of Laura, as we can see easily in here. As for the next, we have Tom. Tom is the adventure-seeking man in the play who's always trying to escape from Amanda's figurative jail. And then Tom goes to the cinema all the time to get away from the real world. The movies remind him of all the experiences he would miss Adam. It's his little fantasy world at all. He's jealous of his father who abandoned his family and accomplished what Tom had always desired, freedom. When Amanda put him down after Jim left, saying that he didn't even know that his friend Jim was engaged and that Jim broke Laura's heart. Tom had finally had enough. He took all the money that was meant to pay for the electric bill, left the family and finally pursued his dream of adventure. Here too, Williams made use of symbolism by reflecting the inner world of the Tom character. As for the next, I will talk about Lord Amanda. Amanda lives in a fantasy world where she is a young beautiful girl living in the area called Blue Mountains. Every day she told Laura and Tom about the numerous gentleman callers she got. On some days there were as many as 17, all of them famous Mississippi Delta men. All of these elements of her dream world reminds her of the time when she was a young and beautiful little child. She is also family's controlling parent. This means that she can be rough with Tom at some times. However, she does this because she's so afraid of losing her children in the same way she lost her husband. Nextly, I will talk about Jim. Jim is the most realistic character in the play. Like Tom and his family, he didn't live in a fantasy world. As he spoke with the Laura after dinner, he tried to make her feel more at ease because he thought she was very really shy. In order to impress Laura, he demonstrated his superiority. For example, he said, look how big my shadow is when I scratch. He wanted to show Laura how manly he is. Jim's nickname for Laura Blue Roses suggests a phenomenon that is contrary to nature and also means sad. In conclusion, the symbolism in the play The Glass Imagery made this story much more interesting. It gave the play a special point which made it more interesting to read and analyze. And also, Tennessee Williams used a variety of symbolic elements to characterize Laura, Amanda, Jim, and Tom, the play's four main characters. And lastly, the symbolism is very significant in the glass imagery because it reveals hidden secrets. 
Thank you for listening to me.